The berry knot in macrame is a great way of adding texture to your piece. If you're interested in learning more about macrame knots, please be sure to check out the rest of my videos or visit my website or my Etsy store for full macrame kits. The berry knot, shown here, is made from a series of simple square knots that are then rolled back upon themselves. If you'd like to practice the square knot before practicing the berry knot, please view my video called Square Knot. Start by making a simple square knot using four strands. With your left outer strand, make a number four shape over your middle two. Place the right outer strand in front. Feed the right outer strand around the back and through the inside of the number four. Tighten by pulling the outer strands away from each other horizontally. Make sure to leave a small gap at the top. Now repeat the process but in reverse. Make a number four with the right strand. Let the left strand hang in front, then feed around the back and through the inside of the loop and tighten. You have just made one full square knot or two half square knots. Starting again with the left strand, repeat the process above and make three more half square knots or one and a half full square knots. Take the inner two loose hanging strands and level up the ends. You're going to feed them through the small gap that you left at the top. Continue pulling so that the chain of square knots you just made gets pulled and rolls back on itself. Using the two outer strands as before, tie another half square knot underneath to secure. I hope you enjoyed learning this macrame knot with me today, so please hit subscribe for more mindful macrame knot videos and tutorials. You can also check out my website or Etsy store to see my full kits and contain all materials and full instructions where everything is cut to size for you in advance, leaving you to focus on the fun parts of the learning and the creating. I love to see pictures of your work, so please follow and tag us on Instagram and Facebook, and don't forget to follow me for more inspiration and details of any upcoming in-person and virtual workshops.